subs and welcome back to my channel it's Nichi Chi Emela and on today's video I'm actually going to share with you guys one of the best fastest knuckle remover or lightning serums out there I know you must have heard about this product but there's something they are not telling you so if you want to know more about the pigment dose skin lightning serum definitely stick around I have a whole lot more I want to share with you guys about this product <laughs> Endo is a skin lightening serum. It's highly concentrated with fruity acids. And you guys know that lemon, carrots, everything, all these things contain acids or one vitamin or the other. We have lemon on lime, which is very high. Especially there are people that get to do a lime or lemon mask and they get to say it gives them tingling sensation on their face. That is because it is super acidic and highly concentrated. So when it comes to this product, this product is highly concerned for some reason my camera is making us think it's lemon green but it's actually yellow okay yes this product right here is a skin lightning serum and it's one of my very best because there are so many things it gets it does number one it peels off your skin for those of you guys that are looking for something to actually peel the skin it does a sweet peeling like the peeling is not harmful it gently peels your skin so if you're looking for something to peel off some certain areas on your skin definitely try this product. if you want to improve some certain areas on your skin and you want to make it flawless so pigment dough is highly effective when i mean highly effective like highly effective when you use it rightly and when you know how to you know the percentage you're supposed to apply it's a serum so a lot of people get to apply get to add this in their creams some people yeah, they decide to add use it like that but i don't suggest you get to use the serum like that on your skin because believe me it could be it could be most skin types may reject this product for I some have reason a client of mine that she said she wanted something to help her peel off her skin and rejuvenate because sometimes when you do skin when you peel your skin exfoliate skin peeling you're actually bringing out baby skin you're actually getting that fresh skin you know sometimes people do peeling you see a dermatologist you see a skincare therapist and they tell you okay go and peel your skin okay you want to peel you want to peel your skin yeah there are ways to do skin peeling and there are ways not to do it Much of everything could definitely damage your skin or be catastrophic to your life darling so believe me when i say pigment dough peels the skin yes it does but in a sweet way it's not harmful it's not you know it doesn't it doesn't irritate your skin but believe me you have to know how to apply this product you have to know how to use this product so yes it's highly effective in lightening it's highly effective in peeling so yes so what else do i have to tell you guys about this product oh my god i am super excited and let us dive right into a whole lot more about this product so guys, this product helps you clear off dark knuckles. It helps you clear off underarm dark um, dark patches. You can also use it on your inner thighs, and you can. Um, I have a note here, so forgive me if I get to look down. I definitely want to make sure I'm on point. So yeah, it clears. It's highly effective in clearing dark knuckles. It's highly effective. It's a strong whitening serum. Like I said before, it's naturally safe to use because it contains fruity acids in it and definitely you have to know how to use this product because if you don't know how to use this product my sister my brother it's not going to work wonders for your skin and one more thing i one of the disadvantages of pigment dough is that this product is not good for sensitive skin it is highly sensitive sweetheart i suggest you do not you tr i suggest you do not try to use this product because you may not like the results especially because of your skin. So Pimento has a lot of products ranging from the face cream to the two body lotions. I'm going to put a picture somewhere here for you guys to see. And then it has a soap too. And then it has a serum. So yeah, you can definitely try any of the products within the range if you want, if you're in love with Pimento or if you want to try it out. So when let's go into exfoliation. Before you use pigment dough, I suggest you exfoliate your skin because if you do not exfoliate your skin, the product may not work nicely on your skin. And exfoliation, on my next video, I'm going to be talking about the type of scrub to use, um, the differences between sugar scrub and 
and salt scrub so definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more on the type of skincare products you need to use and more on reviews and a whole lot more concerning the mind the beauty and the skincare and skincare products like i am such a huge fan of taking good care of your skin of looking flawlessly beautiful so let's move on to the side effects so pigment dough can actually give you a red puffy skin if you are using it like on your face and then you're going out under the sun i don't know what you're expecting to get under the sun especially if you're not on a good sunscreen like you're not protecting your sun your skin from the sun pigment dough i don't suggest i don't advise anybody to apply this product highly as it is a highly concentrated product like they said concentrate i think that is in french which means concentrated so you don't need to use this product like that you need to make sure you have a good base cream a good cream that the ph levels it's not high it's not acidic in any form it's a plain sweet cream like it's, i don't know why i'm using the word sweet but it's a lovely base cream that you can apply this to you can mix this to always make sure you know the type of cream you're going to um mix this with because if you're using a product that is highly acidic acidity acidic plus acidic like what are you what are you expecting what do you want to get your your skin may be damaged so definitely find the base cream that has low that the ph is perfectly fine it's low in acidity and yeah you can try mixing this product to get effective results as long as the product is not acidic and for a lot of people that messaged me they want to know about this product and they asked me to help them understand how the fake is and how the original is so guys when you want to identify the fake from the original the fake pigment dough from the original i don't think I, i've seen a lot of plastic covers I, I don't think that is the original this bottle is a glass bottle as you can see and it's written pim, pig, pigment dough i don't know if you guys can see that in my camera yeah so it's written pigment dough and it's it's it has the company logo this logo you're seeing here this is their logo it has it underneath too i don't know if you guys can see that it has a logo a logo right here like a bb kind of logo this symbol here this symbol this symbol here it has it down here so that is how to identify it uh, one of the ways then secondly it has pigment dough is written on the bottle like if i peel off if i peel off this bottle right here if i peel off this bottle right here you are going to see pigment dough or pigment written oh okay i'm doing this for you guys because i don't really like tearing off my my wraps especially on you know so yeah this is how it looks like on the bottle you are going to see pigment written on a p-i-m-e-n-t on it i don't know if my yeah so i believe you guys can see that too yeah so that is how to identify the fake from the original um if i'm not mistaken in the way i put my sentence now that is how you get to know the original pigment dough it's not in a plastic cover i don't think that is the original pigment dough it should be in a glass bottle with a metallic cover as you guys can see and it should have a pigment dough inscription written on the cover top and it should have a pigment inscription pigment written on the bottle so that is basically how you can tell from the origin, how you can differentiate or get to know which is the original and which is the fake. I don't make sure you're getting your skincare products from a trusted supplier so that you wouldn't go getting fakes out there because there are a lot of fakes. Some people say, oh, this product didn't work for me. It's because maybe you got a fake one, two, maybe that's not, it doesn't match your skin type three, maybe because you did not use it correctly and four, maybe, just maybe. The product is not for you which is why you have to try another product so my next video much later on i will make i'll make a video talking about cream rotation why you should definitely rotate your creams and a whole lot more so i think i have done justice to this video and if there's more if there are more questions you want to ask me definitely hit me down the comment section below like this video because it does something it helps the youtube algorithm to send this video across those that need to know 
more about this product and how to use it and a whole lot more i just said so yeah thank you guys so much if there's a product you want me to review definitely hit me down in the comments section. if you use this product let me know how it worked for you as long as you make the comments respectful and not offensive thank you guys so much for being with me and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye bye